Hey guys, welcome back to Kuma Style Reviews. What we've got is Make Toys, their remaster series, their masterpiece line, the visualizers, which are obviously their tribute to the Transformers Trio Reflector. They turn into an old school DSLR camera. Pretty cool stuff, and especially as a photographer, I like Hobbages 2 Reflector. Um, the perfect effect, whatever, whatever. S Scouting Force, there we go. Still one of my favorite sets to this day. Now, what all comes in the box? There's the box, of course, the visualizers themselves. Now, in the instructions, they have names. It's in Mandarin or whatever. I have no idea what their individual names are. Um, I asked Make Toys. Uh, the guy said he'll get back to me, but right now, I don't have those. I'll update the written review on kumasawa.com with that information once I get it, but they do have individual names, too. And before I forget, what are yours? TF Source. These are pretty cool. We're about to go over them now. But anyway, what's I'll unbox the figures. A flash. This is actually a piece for the camera mode that lets it connect to a camera stand. Three individual guns. A mini visualizer. As well as three alternate faces. Looking at the figures here, they're all pretty standard. We'll take a look at their backs. You can see the fronts are pretty similar, but... There are the backs. Back to the front. And the one that looks most aesthetically different. Go ahead and put him in the front. Now to change out the faces, it's as easy as popping the face off. The new ones just peg in. Now mine don't peg in the tightest. I'm going to need to give the pegs themselves a good polishing or something like that. I'm sure they'll be fine afterwards, but they they don't. I wish they were made a bit tighter. Who knows what happened with that, but definitely something, at least on mine, that's an issue. Okay. So looking at that face, we'll put the camera closer. Just realized I don't have to necessarily have it that far away. Zooming in, focusing. There we go. Now, taking a look at the other two faces here while we adjust. I'm not going to try out all three because, like I said, they're a little bit loose, so. Jeez. Alright. Guess we'll look at that one separate. He has a sad face. As well as, if I can find it, more of a laughing or smirk face. Get that out of the way. I honestly don't like any of the faces as much as their default stoic face. I just really dig that look. Zooming out again, we'll take a look at the posability here. I'm only going to use one. They're all standard. The joints are a bit different, but in terms of articulation, they're pretty much exactly the same. Heads on ball joints, shoulder rotation here. There's some play in the shoulder pads here. Keep them out of the way. Double jointed elbows. Move it forward. Thing. You got some extra room there. Wrist swivel. Articulated fingers. All four fingers at the same time. No movement in the thumb at all. Hip swivels, hip swing. Each of them has these knee joints. These are ratchets. We'll check the other ones in a second. That's like the one difference between them. As well as, we just took that ankle tilt to the extreme, but ball jointed ankles. And they do go in tight. I just put pushed it too far, but you can see it goes quite a bit. I just press my limits. All right. Now looking at these, these aren't ratcheting, they're just, well they're soft ratchets. There we go. Still same amount of bend on each of them. The weapons, pretty standard. I don't know if these are meant to match like G1 weapons or what. I don't know the story behind them. Not really the most aesthetically pleasing guns to me, but they hold well. Each of them, 
there's a peg on the back of the guns, and there's a hole on the back of their hands as well. So. Watch you close fingers, and instead of doing all three, we'll actually just let him dual fist two of them. There we go. That's how the weapons look. Now for this third guy, we'll actually have him with the flash, which becomes a missile launcher. It has a handle on the back here. Right. This I'm trying to move it so his hand rotates around and he can support it with his other hand, but not really having the best of luck. It happens. Alright. Oh, I moved it so far up that it the peg was no longer there. That would be why. But there we go. I don't know, it's kind of big. It's nice that it has an additional function, but eh. Not really anything I'd display with them or anything like that, but there are the weapons. Oh, and in terms of height, where they set, let me get my ruler out here, 16 centimeters, about six and a quarter inches tall. And just to see how they compare to another Masterpiece toy. There's Coupola. So they scale pretty well to the Masterpiece line. On to the transformation. Alright, let's start getting this guy transformed. With the arms, the two sliders, and this is going to be kind of a common trend. I've actually got them rotated the wrong way, rotated backwards, so my bad. The Wrist, 180s. The backpack here, you're going to see some common things throughout them all. So, let's say you know in advance. This, you have to separate this. This pegs into the back. So, unpeg it first, and that makes this a lot easier. The face just popped off there. So, I was talking about with the loose faces and stuff like that. Not very. Not cool. Alright, so that's what we got so far. This we have to rotate it to the front. So bring the arms up. This extends out quite a bit. I'm actually just going to leave the face off. But bring that around. Bring that straight again. Bring the arms down. So that's what you got right now. Now, the head. I like to put the face back on, whatever. Like, it's weird, because I don't know if I'm just not putting them in right, or what, but it feels like they either fit in, like, crazy snug or loose. Like, there's no in-between there. Yeah, I, for the sake of transformation, that's done. Alright. That's what we got. We're also rotating these back. Now... Peg holes on the forearms here. They peg in to this piece by the backpack. That lines everything up. Makes it all pretty. But make sure it's pegged in. It just makes the whole rest of this a whole lot easier. Okay. The legs. Unpeg these two front pieces. Now there are two side panels right in here. They rotate up. All the way back around, all the way back around, and then fold them behind the leg. From there, you got two panels here. Rotate, rotate 90 degrees. Okay, from there, I'm hoping I'm remembering the right <laughs> way to go about this, but here, actually, because you have to fit this piece around that piece we swung forward it's easier if you bend the legs up first so that you can go around
and boom. Alright, and from there, just make sure the legs are still pegged back. It's still pegged back in the front. Alright, so what we're doing now, bringing this around 180. Make sure those are still pegged in. And it's weird because it doesn't feel like it's going to peg perfect when you're doing it, but you'll see. They actually do the instructions in a really nice order to help everything peg in at the end. All right. Now, on these two pieces that swing around, there are two holes in the arms, and that's what you're trying to catch. Okay. These peg in on the sides as well. I'm sorry if I'm doing this kind of fast, but they're obvious, and I have three bots to do. So, not trying to rush, but we're rushing. Now, these two flaps up here, bring them round and down, and they actually peg in on the tops of the shoulders. It's just hard to see. Jeez. It is so dark from the top of this guy. I am just having the darndest time. Maybe if I do the other side first. There we go. Had to do it from underneath. And we still didn't peg in. There we go. But that secures everything. Make sure that it's perfect. Now this, we're going to clamp it together again, but you got to make sure that's a circle around. And you can adjust it once you've started it. But you need to make sure that's right because that's really important later in terms of forming them together. That's one. Okay. So the next one is going to be this middle guy here. Arms up, arms up. This one's just 90 degrees, 90 degrees. From there, flip this piece up. There's a, all of this extends. So extend that up as well. This, doing 180 on, this piece right here, like goes up and in. So from there, we're putting this over his head, rotating these guys forward, and from there, we can do a 180 here. Alright, so we've got this flap in the back, this extended piece in the front. We're taking these, we're continuing to put them around. Alright, I'm just looking to make sure nothing pegs in or anything like that. Two legs. Bring them in together if you want. You can wait. I'm just doing it now. while I'm unpegging stuff. Right. Now, the transformation on this guy isn't too bad, but I do wish it was a little bit more smooth. And these two flaps on the back go down as well, before I forget. All right. And I just busted out the instructions to make sure uh, don't completely just lose myself here. Now, the waist, 180. I believe it's 180. It better be a 180. Oh, these two pieces, forms, flip up. And this, the way it has instructions, it's all supposed to just go over, in, and be fine. All right, there are multiple areas you have to peg. There's a peg up here on the shoulder, peg right there. So, that's pretty tough. 
what I do, I cheat. Separate each leg. I just want to show you what they're trying to make you do first and then how I actually do it. Because when you separate each leg, it's easier to see that slit that you're supposed to peg it into. And this is just a piece of work, like this middle guy, everybody else I know who owns it, this middle guy is the one that's just... It's not very fun. Right. For the moment, I'm going to put that back in so that I can see, but... You just have to find and make it work. And it's hard because the pegs on this one are on the inside. Right. And I went ahead and finished pegging that in off camera just to not waste time. Now this part has to be brought down. It's tabbed in here on the side. So just use a fingernail. If you don't have fingernails, be safe and use something to fly in between. There we go. There we go. And that would be the middle guy. That just leaves us to this guy right here. And he almost transforms just like the other one right there. Right. So, where we're going to start... Put those elbows up again. Elbows up again. 180, so they face backwards. 180. And from there... Flipping this guy down in the back, and then it becomes almost the same transformation as the last one. This one just has the lens attached on this side. So opposite, remember you gotta peg, unpeg that first, and then try to get these guys separated. There we go. Now, if these shoulder panels pop off, slide them right back on. It's pretty easy. It's gonna happen. Alright, see that there, Let's get that straight, extend this all the way, there we go, now on this side it doesn't have the topper, that piece for the flash that I showed you, that's where it pegs in, so I just left that off, I'm not going to put it back on, it's not necessary for the robot mode or anything like that, no point. And see how the other faces stay on fine? I really just wish that part was consistent. Alright, rotating the arms back and making sure they peg in correctly. So we gotta flip the arms around, flip the fists around, peg them. Arms around, flip the fist around, peg them, peg them. Right. And the legs, the exact same thing as before, so I'm going to kind of speed through this. You saw it on the last one. Start trying to get this done. Right, one, two, make sure that stays pegged in. Remember, make sure to get that around, that piece that rotates in, that flap right there, so. That's important, that's huge. Because without that, the whole thing is gonna be deformed or however you wanna put it. And almost, almost. There we go. And the other leg, not nearly as hard because it doesn't have anything that it's got to peg into or anything like that. One, two. Rotate. Remember to peg these into the sides of the arms. Those shield pieces.
There we go. Take that to the front. Get these flapped around. And we are almost ready to combine this guy. Alright. Now, the only thing left we have to do is the camera. Or this part of the lens. get it adjusted you can tell like after the first time you do it it's like this specific rectangle and way that it all goes around just make sure it's a circle there you go it's the easiest way to put it make sure that it's a circle so for this guy what I should have done before I connected it was rotated it through now it's good to connect right. and the camera itself the lens the front of that lens just peg it in and make sure that it's good to go there you go now there are like two or three clips on the side of each and they all just snap together it's very straightforward, fluid dealy. Just remembering where they peg in is the hard part for me. That's one. So it's going to be two. Nope. One, two. Okay. That's one side. Pegged into the other, and they peg in pretty tight. So there's that. Now, final parts. That's one. That's two. Oops. Oh, I forgot to put those in. Quick fix, but we're trying to get these pegged into each other. Not a lot of wiggle room, in fact, a surprising lack thereof. Uh -huh. And that is that. That piece just popped off the ankle. Go in front of the foot. There we go. Now, for this, we this in I believe it goes that way find the flash and it just slides into that there we go that is the camera mode I'm sorry that this took a little bit but we were transforming three bots combining three bots so I think we did okay let's go ahead and check out the alt mode all right pretty straightforward camera mode nothing too crazy it doesn't have any moving pieces to it or anything like that. It's a lens, camera, flash. Uh, older DSLR type. Lens not removable. You saw in the transformation how we put those two pieces in and they're both clipped on the sides here. So that's not happening. The flash. Of course. From the weapon mode becomes a missile pod. If you want to kill people with your camera. Now one thing that's nice about this. Cool little light on. Comes with this extra piece here. You slide it up and then in. I haven't mastered doing this part yet. It slides out a lot easier than it slides in for whatever reason. But there we go. Now this. Um, for camera stands. Universal screw hole. They're all the same. So. It's been like that forever. But you can put it on your stand. And kumasao.com, I'll have a couple of pictures of it on a stand. You know, so that's interesting. But yeah, there we go. And we'll go ahead and knock out final thoughts on this thing too. I mean, I'm not a huge reflector mark or nerd or anything like that. I think that this is a really well done presentation or representation of them. 
you know if you have any interest I definitely recommend it the qualities there the transformations are I'd say intermediate at most you know it may take a couple of times to really master get down but once you do each bot shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes tops you know but you either like the look of it or you don't very G1 ish style I like the weapons included I like the extra faces the miniature camera also awesome yeah so I would give it a give it a go if you're thinking about it give it a shot but anyway again this has been Make Toys, their MT Remaster Series, MTRM07, the Visualizer set. And again, if you'd like it, go ahead, order yours at TF Source. Links in the description. See you next review.